What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to get on here and show you guys this, man. It just really just made me smile. And I just had to thank God, you know, um, when I saw, you know, all these different numbers. It always makes me think about souls. It's all about souls, right? However we can reach souls and win souls, that's what it's all about. You know, we preach, we, we do books, we do whatever it is. We do music, you know, street ministry, you know, prison ministry, whatever it is, it's all about the souls. And so let me show you guys this. So if you guys don't mind in the comments, just go ahead and let us know, you know, what some of your favorite songs are that has really blessed you. You know, if you want to give a little testimony, but I want to show you guys this. Look at this. In the last 365 days, almost six million streams. All right. And so you can he see here the monthly total every month around 460, 450,000. When you drop a new album, it always goes up. Uh, 513, 460. And so this is just Spotify alone, right? And so then I started looking at the weekly numbers, all right? And it stays about 16,000, 15,000 a day, right? That's how many streams we're getting a day. And I just think, man, there are souls that are really being ministered to, you know, through the music. And then, you know, similar numbers on Apple Music and, you know, uh, iTunes, all right? About 5 million. Uh, in the last 60 days, almost a million plays. All right, 17,000, 15, 13,000, 18,000 uh, streams a day. You know, so this just really just encourages me. You know, uh, I'm, I've always been a worshiper, so I just love to, you know, just worship God. And, you know, I'm not the greatest singer. I've worked on my voice, but that's when I started rapping. But then when I saw how the music was really blessing people, really touching people, I started taking it more serious. You know, my brother came along, Marv, man. Now that guy, he's got some amazing music. So, you know, just go, you know, check it out. Let the let the young people check it out. We've got pop, we've got rap, we've got rock. And we are actually working on a worship album, you know, for the church. And I just want to say thank you to you guys, you know, that, you know, I know everybody's making music nowadays and things like that. But I thank you guys for supporting it because, man, there there's a lot of hours, a lot of hard work you know, that goes into making these albums. And so recently we just started recording in the studio. Uh, many, you know, Christian artists, Lecrae, uh, Jonathan McReynolds, they have recorded in the studio where we're at now. So it's going to be the most professional, you know, sound possible. And uh, I'm very excited about this Deeper Waters 2 album. Um, I think it's just my my best work to date by far. And I'm, I'm just excited to release it to you guys. So, you know, if you're new to the music, uh, I would say go check out the Deeper Waters album and the Brotherhood album. And then, of course, my brother Marv, he has the Church Boy album and a lot of different um, singles that you can find out there. But <clears throat> those would be the albums I would say to start. If you got a suggestion in the comments, I know people like Drippin' and, and, and uh, Great God and um, I'm a Son of God and Oil Music. There, there's so many different songs, a lot of different styles. And, um, you know, think about it this way. You know, you always get those religious folks. Oh, God can't use rap. He clearly uses rap. If you go on my YouTube, there's tons of videos of people just in tears. I've been in the studio where people were getting high, getting drunk, and they just sobered up because the anointing came in. Think of it as, you know, a language. You know, that's all it really is, is a language that, you know, if somebody, you know, speaks Spanish, and you speak Spanish, you can understand. But when they hear that rap, they can, they can see it. Here we are, we got to wash up and get to the south. So we can talk about our home and talk about Jesus. My mama ain't playing on the road. where we're ministering you know people are, i'm a son of god i'm a son of you know like it's like anthems and things like that that just charge you up when when i was writing songs i always thought you know man how is this going to help somebody when they hear this song and obviously there's different moods you know there's different you know people have different uh moods during the day and so what i would imagine is you know if somebody got in their car after a rough day 
you know, how would this, this song bless their life? You know, I got songs, you know, serve the most high, we the most fight. And I just imagine somebody just feeling down. And the Bible says there's life and death and the power of the tongue. So then they start memorizing these lyrics and these words and they're rapping them. We about to start a revolution. Feel that in your body, that's that Holy Ghost power. We've been baptized in this power. Yeah. So, you know, hey, got my brothers with me like a family reunion. We about to start a revolution. No, you feel that in your body, that's that Holy Ghost power. We've been baptized in this power. Woo! Separate real from the fake. Cause it's offensive if the king say he'll know you. Yeah, he your savior, but that Lord part got exposed. And, and, and you be casting out them demons in you saving souls. Oh, America, eat your baby food. He gave you seven days, you only gave him once a week. And, and, and then you worship at the football game and praise the team. And you don't even see the problem like you ain't the see. Gummy bears, you tickle feet. You need some balance when you preaching to the Lord's sheep. That blood crying on your hands, cause you don't even.